Uh, we live? Uh, we live? Veldak, here to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Seems good indeed. Okay, uh, what are we doing today? Good evening, Glacier Wolf. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I forgot we had a scrap processing block up here. Did we switch that off? I... I can't tell. Whatever. RF Holloway, welcome in. All caps again, no worries. Sigma Bean. Tyranno fantastic. Fantastic. Thank you so much for 10 months. Very much appreciated. Thank you. And welcome, welcome. Hope you're all doing well today. Good to see you all here. Uh, what bottleneck are we pushing next? And why... Oh, I was going to say, why is this half build? But it's just the map hadn't refreshed. I think, uh, for starters, let's put another... Another new Holmium processing block here. And we'll be that much closer to getting rid of the old ones. Uh, where's our construction train? Get over there. Wait for inactivity. And we're going to want to imitate what we've done over here as well. Holmium ingot. Right about there, please. Hey, we've got old power poles here still. I think I forgot to double check if this all connected up, which it does, with the old stuff. Oh, there's an old raw imosite mine that we haven't gotten rid of. Let's summon a train first of all. Light should be turning yellow any second now. Bluesy Jungle, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Hey, if you don't mind sharing on how you created your auto crafter since I'm making my own, uh, sure. No worries whatsoever. Uh, so basically... Let's clear out the clutter here a little bit. Do I have a decon plan of it? Yes, I do. Fantastic. Uh, that's actually part of it. These are just roboports. Uh, and for some reason there's a bunch of extra combis over here. Okay. Uh, so the basic... The basics of it, as we were talking about yesterday at the end, is we need to use the anything signal to separate an arbitrary signal from a list. Uh, and then we just do anything greater than zero output anything, input count, or one, either way. Uh, the power poles here are just so that we can see what signal is coming out of this combinator. Uh, and then over here we go times negative one. So that's just subtracting the uh, fish signal that we're outputting from this. Uh, and then the original list goes over here, and we just keep repeating it. These combinators here are just each times one. Um, it's just a one-way piece of wire. Um, there isn't really any logic going on with this combinator. It's just separating so we don't loop and do weird things. Uh, but yeah, we're basically taking the whole list and subtracting whatever signal this was. And then we keep doing it over and over again. So we start with all of these 10 signals. We remove fish, wood, coal, plastic, and so on. Until we've only got copper at the end. Or copper plate. Um, so we're basically just using that to feed some uh, crafting combinator set recipe 
uh, signals. And the rest is basically just bells and whistles. Um, so you can see we've got like those first two culminators and then sets of three going around in circles here. Uh, and each one outputs from the anything signal to go to one of the crafting combinators that's facing an assembly machine. Uh, and from there we've just got, you know, a list of everything that's in the robot network. Uh, where, where did we have this? Over here? No. Where was the RoboPort? Because there should be some wires connected to it. Here it is. Uh, so reading the contents of the RoboPort, and then we just sort of filter this so we only get positive numbers, uh, and then multiply that by negative one, because sometimes when the bots are moving things, it reports a negative. Um, but basically it's just subtracting the contents of the robot network, and over here we've got a bunch of positive signals for stuff that we want to craft. Uh, anything that's positive makes it through this combinator, and then we start signal separating them so that we can set these recipes over here. And we've got like a big container that we have static requests for. Read the contents of that, we request everything that's in here minus a bunch of signals over here. That's only necessary to avoid overfilling this container. You could obviously lay this out in, in a different way if you want to. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. And these are all laid out so that if any of them need fluid, they happen to uh, be right next to a tank. Clear as mud. Did we build all of this already, or are we missing some loaders? There we go. Yep, okay, thanks. Fantastic. Alright, just a few loaders, and we're done here. What is this train waiting for? Why are, why are we over filled with pyroflux. There's room for three and a third train... Yeah. There's room for three and a third train loads of pyroflux here, and we requested two. And, and yet here we are. LTN, what the hell? Let's just drop this over here. Very odd. I hope we're starting to catch up. Doesn't look like it. Yeah, there should be ingots piling up in here if we've saturated Holmium Plate. Uh, last we checked, we were behind on trying to spam Holmium Cable. So that should come as a surprise to no one. This is super imbalanced as well at the moment. I don't know how, but feeding back the contents of this back into here ended up making this imbalanced. Even though we've got a belt balancer to deal with it. Welcome in, West Dude. I should probably go over there and just rebalance it, otherwise we're going to have trains waiting there unnecessarily for a little while. What's our speed in this thing? About 140... 130-ish kph. It keeps changing. I guess it's slower on the stone as well. 
Okay, do not get squished by a train. There we go. Boop. And rebalance again. Cool, cool, cool. Where is this going? Nowhere. Yoink. Where was it going before, I wonder? Okay, so we got all these belts inputting. And then one, two, three, four outputting. Don't need this anymore. Don't need this anymore. Two belts go to here. Two belts go to here. That should be fine. Alright, back into the container you go. Um, you know what? We should probably... Well, for one thing, we can get rid of the old vanilla train stops, since we don't use those anymore. Try not to get hit by a train. Uh, but I wonder if we should refactor this as well. I think I built this for tier 9 modules. Let's see. See what kind of ratio we have. Tier 9 prods. Uh, beacon 2. 13 speeds. And 7 efficiencies. Minimum power. Alright. 990 cables per second? Are we ever going to need that much? Probably not. I'm definitely not at one train stop. I think the train traffic would be a bit extreme there. Uh, how much... Holmium cable have we done over the last 50 hours? 2.2, 2.3k per minute. The last 10 hours is double that. And that's... We've been bottlenecking on it, even though we're trying to spam modules. So maybe we should try and go for like 10k per minute capacity. Uh, but I think this is going to be way more than that. 60k per minute. I'm going to go out on a limb and say we don't need 60k per minute. Uh, certainly not now. Certainly not with our limitation on how much holmium we can feed this thing. So how about... We don't need to use a whole half block for this even. We can do another little... Uh, another little small build. Instead of leaving copious space for expansion. Okay. And then we could maybe have all our Holmium cable in one or two little places. Let's just redo it from scratch. Because I think we can just do direct... Direct insertion here. Petri Cottontail, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Got one more underground line that goes nowhere on the northeast corner. Okay. Probably going to get rid of that build anyway. I saw you months ago at SEK2. Still there. Yeah, it's a big playthrough and we have some big targets. Uh, we did technically finish the game a while ago. Okay, Holmium Cable. There's only one recipe, right? I'm pretty sure. Yeah. Okay. So with a maxed out wide beacon... We get... 17.8k per minute. I think this is more than we need for the entire... Potentially the entire playthrough, certainly more than we need right now. So why don't we set up a little 
direct insert build once more. And we'll need far fewer productivity modules to support it this way. Pattern that has been repeating in a number of places. So it's not as far away as it seems uh, to get... Actually, this is going to spit out... How much? More than a purple belt per second. Well, you don't... Belts are already in per second. I guess that algebra was a little off, but you get the idea. Um, hmm. So the whole thing... is only three and a third belts per second. Um... <laughs> But each individual one spits out more than one belt. Might stretch this out a little bit. Because I want to have unlimited storage here and use splitters. What are your current goals? Three science per second continuously regardless of which type of research we're doing. That's all. Doesn't sound like that much. 20 per minute. But the amount of stuff you need to support that is pretty obscene. So we need like six belts into two. Uh, we could use... I, I guess... Uh, I guess we. it's probably easier if we just do what we've done... recently with the... Uh, with the ingots. Just stick them in a big container, limit these two, and put stuff straight in there. It's probably a lot better than having a bunch of... Oops. Probably a lot better than having a bunch of belt spaghetti with balances made out of splitters. Still only uses a quarter block. And we would need more than one purple belt from each to each. Still a lot less uh, belting than this monstrosity. I guess we could do... do it like this. Still. But we could just as easily simply... Oh wait, we need like three and a third belts, right? So it'd have to be... Damn it. It's not going to look very good. Like, we can just tell LTN the entire contents of this container as well. I think I'd rather do... Ugh. If I'm going to do a 4 to 2 from the container to... to the loaders... then we can't, like, split it this way and this way and make it symmetrical. Hmm. I could, uh, I could always just have less storage. Okay, how fast are we summoning trains here? 279 over 50 is 5.94 stacks per second. A train every 16.84 seconds to pick up the cables. That's kind of fast. That's kind of very fast, like momentary traffic stoppages at intersections causing problems fast. 
Hmm. I could literally just do one machine, use a mini beacon. The mini beacons don't line up just the same way. Compact beacon two. If we give this the ideal number of speed and efficiency modules to just barely not pay a premium on power, and these things are already obscenely fast, we get crafting speed 25 as opposed to 27.5. But since we're having so much trouble keeping up with the belts, maybe that's fine. Maybe we could literally just do the one machine. It also means fewer tier 9 modules. So just do it like this. How, how much input are we looking at? 75 items per second. Uh, theoretically, we can do that with two superior inserters. But with the way they're going to be... Uh, picking things up at odd times, depending on how the machine is, I think it might actually not keep up. Let's find out. I think we also are going to need a combinator here. Because they're only putting a little bit in each time. Actually, maybe not. The super inserters are putting in one stack at a time. And they're a lot faster than the superior inserters. Okay, it looks like that's not actually a problem. And we keep getting these two inserters picking up the same material in sync. So these two are going to remain balanced. Not that we're going to need to ask for enough stuff that that is going to be much of an issue because it could all fit in one container. But yeah, that seems to be fine. And it's also exactly one purple belt. That's kind of neat. Exactly one belt of output. And we would need a train how often? Um... One train every 55.56 seconds to pick up the output. And... What does plastic stack to? It's a, I think it's 100 in this version. Yeah, these are both 100. So... A train every 200 seconds for the Holmium plate. Uh, and a train every 400 seconds for the plastic. That seems fine always double up this build if you're finding you need more cable. Yeah, I was thinking of doing... It won't be perfectly symmetrical, but I was thinking maybe... Well... If I do two machines... I wish we could fit three under this one compact beacon. We just barely can't. Well, I mean, I guess we can, actually, if we do something something like this. Uh, in which case, we'd need this to reach all the way back here. How much is this eating again? 50 per second Holmium plate. That's more than half a belt. So we need one full belt for Holmium plate. One full belt for plastic. Well, we don't need a full belt for plastic, but with loaders, that's how it's going to be. Looks kind of weird. But then we have three belts. Uh... I want to do just two belts, 
Not just because of the train frequency, but because... Uh, because we can put two belts into a splitter this way. Philip B, good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. I guess we could split this a little further apart. Put this here. And... Move this up a bit. Oops. We are going to need room for a splitter. Right here. We need a splitter right here. Uh, looks like... Well, we could move this up one tile, but that's not happening with rail. Unless... And then we could do... Uh... No, we couldn't. If I make this further apart, we can't reach both of them. No, we definitely need to use a little bit more space here. So something like that. And we could just use two inserters each. But it might get imbalanced. The belt is slightly longer here. We kind of need both of these containers to go to both of these advanced assembly machines. Hmm. I don't think... No, it wouldn't work with a delivery cannon chest because we've got two different resources. I guess I could run this stuff through Splitter, but then we need A hundred plate per second is more than a belt. I mean, we could do some sushi belt shenanigans with the exact ratio, but I feel like that might have problems as well. Never mind the fact that it would look wonky. Hmm. We... Uh... I was going to say we could put the machines on both sides of the bulk rail, but then there's no way we're going to... No way we're going to fit that under one beacon, one small beacon. And if we're going to do just two machines, I'd really like to use the small beacon. I guess we could just use a little bit more space and do the splitter thing. There's going to be something like... Plastic... Holmium uh, plate... Two belts from each side should be fine. And they're going to have to crisscross, I guess. Right? Well, not like that. And 
merge in here actually. This is getting far away from the very simple little build that I wanted. So we want this to go to here, this to go to here, this to go to here, this to go to here. And... Plastic. To find its way over here. Chromium plate to find its way over here. And vice versa. Mm, I don't like it. This really feels like it shouldn't be necessary. You're also going to have trouble crisscrossing with this underground. Does plastic need the splitter stuff, uh, stuff since it's slower? Plastic needs slightly more than half a belt in total for the whole build. Hmm. Let's just get rid of all of this. Symmetry is impossible here, right? If they're going to crisscross with undergrounds. So you need to go here and here. Merge with this one. Move this down a little bit. And you need to go here and here and merge with this one. Uh, is that going to have an underground? There isn't room to do it like that. We're one tile off having a rather neat little crisscross here, I guess. What if we use... What if this just belts direct... Why can't I place this? Because there's a loader. What if this just goes here directly and also... Well, if we crisscross them both here, we're going to run into the same kind of problem. Right? And we basically want to go kind of like that. Yeah, that's that's not going to work. Uh, maybe. Never mind the filters for the moment. Okay, that might not be too bad. Delete that. Put this up here. It's not going to be perfect because the belts have different lengths, but it should 
be able to sort itself out. Both of these containers go to both of these advanced assembly machines. And there's nowhere else but here to fit this, right? I don't loathe this. It's still pretty neat. And very fast. And balanced. That said, I kind of want it to be like plate plate plastic plastic. Or maybe vice versa, since we can take plastic for granted, uh, why don't we make it so that at a glance we can see if there's plate. And that is 180 per second. Which means a train every 27.78 seconds if this is going full speed. It also gives us 10.8k per minute. So for just two machines and eight prod nines, which is less than one train load of pressure vessels, uh, we can maybe have enough Holmium plate production for the entire base for the end game. If not, maybe we'll double it. And it only takes up this little space. Requires fewer modules. Yeah, I like this a lot. Let's do it. So we're just going to copy the... Train stop settings here. I think you just made all four line up for top plate. Top plate. Well, regardless, I think this is pretty good. Phrase Symmetria, indeed. And this one as well. So we got cable provider, provide stack threshold 100, long trains only. Uh, not sure why the provide priority was lower here. Probably because we wanted the vanilla train to take that stuff upstairs. And long trains only. Two train loads plastic, two train loads holmium plate. That should be fine. Okay, do we have, let's get some nice, uh, well, I was going to say let's get some nice dark plate here, but should we move our Holmium cable production? Holmium plate stacks to 100, plastic stacks to 100. We go through a lot more Holmium plate. So maybe we should actually be building this down closer to where we're producing our holmium. That seems like a pretty good idea. Plastic mostly comes from up here and over here. Actually, where do we make plastic? No, we don't have one of those oil builds where we do everything. Plastic is over this way. We only have the one place producing plastic, because even if it's as fast as we need it to be, uh, I'm a little concerned perhaps about train traffic here. It seems to be fine for now. 
In any case, I I'm thinking around here somewhere makes a lot of sense. For Holmium Cable. Let's do it here. And we'll just retire the old build. Which, if they're not empty already, they're going to be empty quite soon. As we're perpetually short on Holmium Plate. Yeah, we'll just switch that off. Let it run out. And then we'll have a bunch of plastic that we need to move. Not that much, I guess. And same thing down here. There's already a train bringing home in plate. There's a bunch of plastic left over. That should be fine. Shouldn't leave too much, too many leftovers that we want to get rid of. And we'll want to head over here. Actually, I don't know if I need to physically go there. Oh yeah, I want to put Prog 9s in there. I've got two? Hold on. We've got... Th Ooh, 30 waiting over here. I don't think it's going to take as long as we imagine to get prods everywhere. Especially as our builds demand fewer of them. Did we already move some to the mall? Nope. Okay. Let's get these picked up. Aziz Light! Aziz Light? Zern, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Um, is this train gonna... gonna move? Oh. Oh, greater than 30. Oops. There we go. Uh, and let's go... Where, where am I right now? Let's go pick up... those modules. I can't take a Spidertron through the teleporter, can I? I seriously doubt it. No. Okay. Sorry, Spooder, you'll have to wait. And I think I missed it already. Give me those nines. Actually, I think there's already a request for them. Is it over here? No. Oh, here they come. Oop. Alright, so we've got 53 speed modules, 32 prods, and 12 efficiencies. Uh, I don't know if I'm carrying slash have any downstairs. Compact Beacon 2. It's over here. Compact Beacon 2. Fantastic. Alright, back down we go. Why can't I... What? There we go. And let's head over and get that built. Actually, when I jump into the editor, I'm going to fall out of the spider. Okay. I doubt if I've got all of this stuff on my person right now. So let's summon the construction train. Right after these bots get sorted out. Oh, 
Um, looks like I do have everything. Nice. So that is Holmium Cables. Possibly for the entire playthrough. With a higher productivity bonus. So we went from... Uh, 14 times 4 to 80% productivity bonus. So like less than 60 to 80. Fantastic. Did we already go through all that plate? Looks like we did. Uh... Hmm. I was going to lower the provide threshold here so a train would take it away, but it's probably going to take it to one of these. And we only want a full train load here. Otherwise it messes up with the uh, messes up the schedule. So, why don't we just borrow an LTN train? Go here until inactivity, and then drop it off at the mall. And that'll be a good start to deconstructing this. Here comes our train. be gone. Hopefully we've got enough room. I guess we could wait till these are removed before we build a train with plastic. Yeah, that's going to be too much. And the old wind turbines. And as much of this as you can pick up. And then go back home and then come back here. And hopefully that'll be enough to clear it with no further action from us. As for the other Holmium cable build... Uh, same deal, it's already empty, basically. Let's grab... that's not an LTN train. LTN train. Wait here for inactive. And just drop it off at the mall, that's probably fine. Okay, we already have almost a trainload of Holmium Cable. Last, uh, well, last minute or so, 11k per minute consistently. I'm sure that'll stop soon. Last hour has been only 4.5k. Last 10 hours, 5k. So I'm pretty sure this is all we need. Maybe double it eventually. Uh, when we're spamming science. Mr. Dane, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. Sup, D. Yeah, and I wouldn't even want more throughput for just one train stop. Um, since the trains would have to come so frequently. So this is fine. This is okay. Now then. Back to the mall. And... Where's that decon train? One more trip should clear this out. 
how much plastic do we need to pick up from here? A bit. How much storage space do I have? Uh, 80, right? 100 and... 100 and a bit stacks if I do this myself. Without clearing out my inventory. We've got 11k. That's slightly too much. How are the T9 modules doing? Uh, pretty good, actually. Last hour, we've made 20 prod 9s, 13 efficiency, and uh, 8 speeds. Last 10 hours, 70, 63, and 38. And in total, we've made over 320... Well, we've made 328, 275 started about 18, 18 hours ago, really. Doesn't feel like it was that long ago. Uh, but yeah, more to the point. More to the point, last hour, 20 prod nines. Considering that an end game build potentially only needs like eight, depending on the build, uh, I think that's pretty good. What's the hour count of the run? Uh, yeah, yes. Yes. Quite a lot. What's this bot doing? Oh, we need the construction train here. What are you doing? That's a vanilla schedule. Oh, right, I forgot. Yeah, we've still got vanilla schedules for the ingots. We need to get this active. Why isn't it active right now? Oh! Oh. Uh-oh. Sort of, kind of, forgot... the spaceship floor. Over here. Are we still carrying the thermo facilities? Yes, fantastic. Let's go park over here. Solovix, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I think the sound bot went down. No? Does it really sound that quiet to you guys? I mean, I can see the volume thing from the desktop audio. It seems pretty normal to me. It's not that much quieter than the ship claps. Okay. Oops. So we need some floor. Huh? Uh, I think I forgot how big the, um... What is going on here? Are you kidding me? Stupid bots. Okay, guess we have to go over there. Because the bots took it upon themselves to leave no space in this particular wagon. Uh, but yeah, I think I made the, the request for floors a bit too big here. Maybe I can get the bots to do this? No. I don't need to search, they're right here. Yeah, that's right. Drop things on the ground. Um, the bots, there's already no bots in this wagon. So I can't like place, 
pipe or something to make room for what happened. What? That was weird. Well, whatever the case, we're here now. And um, we're just going to want to copy this. And there's our ingots. Yeah, so this... Uh, this one has a train limit, and there's no more Holmium ingots being made here. Either that or they're slow. I'm pretty sure they've stopped, because we turned off these combinators for the old stations. At the start of that production chain. Yeah, so there's no more ingots here. This isn't reaching its train limit. Therefore, the train came to the next closest station that has the same name. Uh, that doesn't have a train limit and didn't happen to have ingots. So we need to... Well, we don't strictly need to, but I would like to patch our system of moving ingots upstairs into a similar system, kind of, to what we're doing here, with LTN to vanilla to LTN, with requests based on what we've got upstairs. If you limit the box and take away a slot, you can drop stuff... Oh, I reread that, sorry. Come some more Hormonite. Uh, we still want to move this. Oh, it's empty right now. Let's do it. Do it, do it, do it, do it. Uh, copy. Change this. And probably put this over here. Pastorino. Is one of those power poles going to be in the way? Nope. Okay. And... We copy the floor. Just like that'll be fine, actually. Uh... Actually, I would need to paint the whole rest of the block around it. Let's do this. Oh, that's easy. Then we can just delete that. Seems good. Uh, and don't forget the rest of the rail block. Right, floor train, uh, floor train, and we can probably get a lot of that done with the construction train on the way back. Uh, let's change this to... Oh, I had a channel called nothing, but then once there was nothing on nothing... Nothing ceased to be anything. Alright, so we'll remove that. Don't drop off more antimatter here. Oh dear. Pump all that fluid back into these containers. Uh, make this a provider, a priority. Oh, and we don't need this to be connected. Actually, I'll switch this off until all of that's been pumped. Nah, that's fine. We'll just have to set the provide threshold lower. Right. We could wait until until most of this has been taken, but I'm pretty sure uh, they'll still 
ask for a full trainload of fluid. Until they can't. Question, can you send rockets to other solar systems? Yes. Or cannon capsules? No. Not, not just spaceships. Rockets can go anywhere, but they cost uh, way more fuel. And the rate of crashing goes up very, very fast once you're aiming further away. What the heck is this? What? Why is there a core egg hauler going the long way to get to Spiriso orbit? Spiriso... It's not in this system, actually. It's even further away. I think it's in... Alacrity? No? Wexavis. Here it is. Wexavis. Spiriso. Anomaly. What the hell happened here? We've got the address as including Anomaly. As in the ship should go to the Anomaly and then once it arrives, uh, its destination should get changed to Spiriso because that's on the memory cell. There's multiple things on the memory cell. Bruh. Maybe something weird happened when we ported, when, when we moved our drop-off. We'll have to be on the lookout for other ships going the long way. The ship has become sentient? No. Uh, we may as well just empty the memory cell. Since it's going to get to Spiriso first anyway. 18 minutes. Maybe it would be faster to send it to Foenestra first. But then I'd have to remember. Accumulator charge has gotten kind of low. So we're already slowing down a bit. Because these fluid isothermics can't keep up with this ship indefinitely. They can for a long time with these accumulators. Okay. On the other hand, if I just let this go to Spiriso, I don't have to remember. But on the other, other hand, more than 20 minutes. Let's go to Foenestra. And we want to get or Egg Hauler 48 to go somewhere else once it gets there. That's only going to take, uh, that's not 48. That's only going to take seven ish minutes or so. Although we can give it some time for the accumulators to recharge. You're not very full yet. I guess that's to be expected. We do have some plate coming in as well. Um, but yeah, we should be able to... Start deconning this. And I'll just drop it off into these other blocks here. Might want to find some room to store some stuff. How about in the spider so we don't forget it? That should be fine.
Oh, we're in range of the construction ship. That's going to make things awkward. Uh, construction train. So how about you go build as much of this as possible. And then go back to the malt. And we'll start deconning all this mess. Drop some of that off. Upper plate goes down here. This will be a little bit easier than using the decon train. Speaking of which, uh, we should probably... Did we clear this out? Yes, we did. Probably get started clearing out the other old Holmium cable build. Everything but the container for now. What are you doing? Oh no. Another little task to sort out. So we've had some construction bots in this network for some reason. Actually, I can see a way to do that remotely. Alright. And then pick that up. Alright, so whatever the bots are hovering with. Rail... Signals. Wait, this is an LTN stop. Oh, I thought it was one of those get rid of everything that doesn't belong in this block stops. Uh, it's not. We're going to have to go over there and sort that out. Uh, we stopped the bots hovering for the moment, at least. Okay. How much more have we got stored here? Not that much. Might be a bit more stone. Don't care about dirty holmium water. Or water for that matter. We can just lower the provide threshold to get rid of the rest of this. Don't need whatever this is. Where is it going? Oh, right, of course. I remember the old ways. And there's quite a bit left in here. Hydrogen chloride takes some time to make, but we've got... how much? Uh, hundred and forty-three thousand per minute, 2.4k per second. I think we can stand to just let this get remade, especially since it's only made out of stuff that's abundant. And stop picking this up. Shift C. Shift C. That was easy. Get the last of this. Actually, there's going to be another trip or two.
Where's that ship? Oh, here it is. It's already at Foenestra. Where was it going again? Spiriso. Spiriso Orbit. Accumulators are pretty full. ETA is going to be less than 10 minutes. Quite a bit less than 10 minutes, actually. Quite a lot less than 10 minutes. Okay, cool. Hopefully there isn't some systemic issue sending the ships places not via Thoanestra. I can't imagine how... Um, Oh, yeah, I, I actually can imagine how, exactly. I bet the ship landed here. I remember yesterday, the ship landed here when we barely started building this. So it probably didn't get its memory cell reset. So then it got new stuff added to its memory cell. And it had, uh... Like we saw on that ship, multiple... Multiple things on the memory cell. The fact that this is a barrel core fragment drop-off and Spiriso is barrel makes me think it was supposed to go somewhere else and it got sent to Spiriso instead. Because it had like two destinations on the memory cell. Which means our count... Our count for how many ships were on the way to get... On the way back with, uh... Wait, no. No, it should be fine. Yeah, we don't actually count the ships uh, until they're on their way back with core fragments. So we won't have to correct any of that. Good, good, good. Fantastic. Copper goes here. And one more little trip to clear this out. Oh, I guess we're going to be keeping this anyway, right? Because we're going to make another one of these. So we don't need to trim that bit of rail or signals. Just make sure there's room for the train stops. Now, where's the construction train? Uh, I'm actually glad that lighted pylon is in the way. Wait, this is... I thought we copied this when it was still correct. Oh, well, we can just copy it from here. And... Copy those channel settings across. This is already set to equals 190. Good, good, good. One more trip from the construction train and we should be done here. And it's fully loaded. Fantastic. Only thing is, I don't want a ship squishing a bot that goes to pick up this... Uh, Lighted pylon substation. I guess I could just push this up here. There we go. And we need to drop off some logi bots to get that started. I don't suppose I left any in here. Don't think so. I think we just tossed a bunch of stuff into the spider as well. Uh, nothing that matters. It's probably rail or something. Okay. Now we need to remove wherever the spaceship floor goes. Oh, also get rid of this. Because I'm pretty sure... 
don't know, that's probably fine. Okay. Control C. Shift. Tiles. Train stop names. Not trains. Copy that over here. And I was going to wait till the floor is placed and then copy it on top, but I guess we'll just copy this once this is done. Alright, did we get this deconstructed? Nope. That went about as we'd expect. That's right, we need to fix this before the train comes for it. We're not carrying enough spaceship floor to get this done. All right, all the more reason to head over, get that done sooner rather than later. And construction train is already back. Oh, wait here, please, because I need to give one more order once the spaceship floor is placed. And then we need to go drop off... 50 Logibots. Now, did you get your memory cell emptied? You did. Cool, cool, cool. And there's already antimatter here. And the old one is already completely empty of antimatter. Fantastic. You have 50 Logibots in the spider at the bottom row. Oh. I thought I carried 100 Logibots earlier. 50 Logibots in the spider. Yeah, there it is. I was looking here for them as well. Uh, I still want to go do this first. We're closer. And I don't want to forget it. How's our Holmium cable? Hard to tell, actually, because that's not much more than a train load. There's a train coming. Yeah, I'm pretty sure we're still not keeping up. I wouldn't expect to. But it is nice to check on it and see more than a train load, at least. Yeah, no, that's not enough. Hmm, there's more traffic here than I expected. Oh yeah, we still haven't gotten rid of this iron mine. How much is left? 3.8 mil. What are you doing? Where are you going? Uh, debug mode? Oh, apparently, there it is. Oh, the construction train is here. And the poor thing was trying to catch up. There we go. Another... Holmium ingot build finalized. And we'll probably just delete these. And I want to do one more up here. And that will at least be on par with everything we had before, but more efficient. Fewer machines. Won't be as hard to fill them with prod modules. And the fluid flow for the molten holmium is obviously a lot better. Okay. Where was I sending the construction train after this? I don't think there was anywhere, actually. Alright, grab this stuff. That's all we needed to do. And head on over to drop off the Logibots. It's the only thing we need to do here. 
I guess I copied a little bit of... What is that? Yeah. Reinforced black plating. Looks a little strange. So the reason this isn't getting given more orders is we haven't emptied the ship yet. Fuel, check. Zero barrel core fragments, not check. Uh, and it doesn't check if all the bots have settled until this is true, because this works with like a chain. This has to be true, then this has to be true, then this has to be true. Still have to empty the plastic from the old build, true. And we can do that remotely. Actually, come to think of it, oh, I should have taken these construction bots. I'm surprised those construction bots didn't jump out to... Oh, no, we did do that. We did that one. Cool, cool, cool. Let's go pick up these Immersium beams. And I think we've got like way... Yeah, we had four of these. Uh, we've got way more biomatter production than we need. We were spamming it to get uh, bio sludge started. What does it actually go into? Bio research data, which we're doing on the ground. So we will need it for that. Fertilizer. Don't care about first aid kits. Or pollution filters. Need a little bit for bio labs if we ever make any more. And bio sludge. So how much is needed for Bida research data? Four point three per second. And for fertilizer? It's hard to know how much fertilizer we need. Or where the fertilizer build is. Oh, there it is. Oh, here it is. I completely forgot about this build. Yeah, so we've got uh, bios, biomatter sorted probably for the whole game. This is where we're making fertilizer and wood using the fertilizer. Very good. So we can probably get rid of all of these, right? So much. I'm tempted to just delete it. Two megajoules. 200 megajoules per stack. How does that compare to Vulcanite blocks? 30 times 200. So literally 30 times denser. Okay then. Nuke it? We're not doing nukes on our own planet. Being stuck with the uh, scorch marks forever. Actually, I think if you trimmed the surface where there was a nuke mark, it'd probably get rid of it. We could probably refactor this silly little ammo build as well. I'm sure we could do that with one machine. And not use up half a block. Where is the ammo even going anyway? I'm pretty sure it just goes upstairs. Oh. Hold on. Yeah, we don't have ammo being sent up for... For ballistic shielding data at the moment. That's not ammo. No, it's a different build. Where do we eat the ammo? 
I thought it was in a space manufactory. Uh, let's see. Pistol magazine ingredient. Here it is. Yeah, there's no, there's no ammo here. But I don't see... I don't see an input for it either. Oh, here it is. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Maybe it was a space manufacturing making the ammo that we had before. We're not doing it up here, are we? No. No, because I think we calculated uh, it's f way better stack efficiency to move ammo up the elevator. Maybe I did it last playthrough. Logi bots. And away we go. Fantastic. A dupe. So how much ammo would we need? Which build was it even? No, oh, it was this one. I'll probably make smaller... God, there's so many builds I want to make smaller now. Should have done it that way in the first place. Uh, we only need like 30 pistol mags per second. It was per second, right? Yeah, per second. Probably just use some space like this. Probably only going to need one machine. Uh, advanced assembly. Pistol mag. How fast is this? 10 per second. Yeah, we don't need a beacon for this one. Or any high tier modules. I'm sure just one machine. Uh, okay. 24. 31. That's 2.78 megawatt, though. The speeds are pretty cheap. Efficiency's not so much. Is that minus 80? Is that minus 80? It is. Is that minus 80? Not quite. 956 kilowatts. So that's exactly 30 pistol mags per second. Uh, which I'm pretty sure would be exactly what we need for three ballistic shielding data per second. And ballistic shielding data only goes to one place. Yeah, 30 per second. Hello there, Pospec. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. What's next on playlist of Factorio mods, if any? Uh, maybe C block. Oops. Okay, so one machine should be more than enough. Maybe move this back a little bit. Okay then. Philip B, welcome in, by the way. And Dylan. Alright, so... Superior, inserter... Only two inputs. Well, I guess we can copy it from here. That should still be valid. Just coal and iron. Two train loads each. And I'm sure the inserters can probably keep up. Yeah, they can keep up pretty easily. And 
then stack size 200, 30 per second. I think we'll just do delivery cannon chest. I guess if it's going to be this cozy, we'll do it like this. Or we could just use a splitter. Yeah, then we can use more storage space. Oh, not this again. Uh, okay. Diagonal inserters would be really nice. Maybe I'll use those next time. We can put this a little bit closer. Or I could put this here. This could be one tile up, and then we could fit our splitter here without moving all of this down one. Or two, rather. That'll do. It's beautiful to see so many inventory slots. You mean these? Uh, actually, I think I was going to do this in like the southeast, uh, southwest corner of one of these builds or something. I guess I could do it here. What 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 are the inputs? Coal and iron. Uh, I'm pretty sure they're slow enough that it doesn't really matter where we truck them in from, right? 30 per second, 30 per second. 60% of one stack, 30% of one stack. Um, 333 seconds per trainload of iron. Half of that per trainload of coal. I'm pretty sure we can put this wherever we want. So I'm thinking... Let's just stick it here with some other miscellaneous items. Isn't there a... No, that was one of the old iron builds. Iron happens over here. And coal mostly comes from... I can't remember if coal at this point mostly comes from matter. Th there's also the coal core frag processing over here. Okay, I think most of it is coming from here, otherwise this would be saturated. So yeah, about here makes a lot of sense. Uh, I imagine the circuits are going to have a lot more throughput, so how about we put it like up here? Or somewhere. Coal has to be delivered here as well. Okay, so flip that around. And like so. all good. Uh, we might want some signals here as well. Okay. Right about here. Oh. Well, that doesn't look very nice. Nor does it actually fit. Because of the plastic build. It's a bit cozier. Hmm. Hmm. 
Hmm. I guess I could do what we're doing here with the plastic. No, because we have more than one solid coming in. Inserters work better. Maybe I'll squeeze this in somewhere else. That also has a different size. I guess here is fine. Why do we not have... Oh, right. I remember. Because I deleted it. Station here, please. And one of these. Did we actually name this even? No, we didn't. Just copy it from down here. That's a vanilla train stop. Having them on top of the rails is awesome. I love to use base those downloading boxes. <laughs> Make things so neat. Yeah, they really do. Okay, pistol mags. And I thought my base was getting big, at least it looks organized. Mine's a big old bowl of spaghetti. Affection. Panzerwolfen, welcome in. Now where were we building this? Over here. And apart from an, in an efficiency 9, it's all built already, actually. Do not walk where the spaceships go. Uh, we're going down here. Pretty sure I have an E9 on my person. There we go. Also a bunch of plastic for some reason. Oh, was it because I walked past that container that that got finished? That That's probably it, isn't it? Probably the case. Okay, and we could probably do some direct belting with this uh, barrel as well, since it's so nearby. I could literally just belt from here to here, but then we need to do this side also. Anyway. That's our pistol mags done. Trains are coming. Oops. Don't need cheat items. Uh, we should probably... Let's get rid of this plastic. Hey, convenient. Uh, we should probably go back, grab the pistol mags, since they're not going to be going anywhere else. We've got 640 stacks of them to move, but it's a pretty short trip. Should probably make some room in my inventory though. Literally just empty it. So how, mu how much room do I have here? Twenty. Twenty times ten. Two hundred stacks of inventory space. So it's only going to take three and a bit trips. With the spooder. Is 
Is that on purpose the missing rail? Probably not. Let's get the, uh... Let's get these items moved first, though. Actually, I guess we're already bringing... Oh my goodness. Why are there six trains bringing iron and coal? We're requesting two train loads of each. They're not... They're not delivering to here, are they? They are. Oh, that's my mistake. At least we're not over-delivering. That's going to be so many more pistol bags. Oh no. Well, we do have a demand for them upstairs, so some of it's going to disappear pretty quickly. Like right now, actually. Got CMEs before the umbrella. They touched nothing. Nice. Lucky. Uh, why didn't I just put this straight in the train? There we go. Tidying up the old base. Pretty soon, all of it's going to look more or less like this. So what's our rate been for cables since we made some changes? Holmium cable. Looks like we've got more area under the graph now. So we've got the same amount of... Actually, we've got a little bit more Holmium plate going into this because we added another build. Um, but more or less the same amount of Holmium plate coming in. But we've got more area under the graph for output because we're getting more from the prod modules. Last 10 minutes, 9.5k per minute. Last hour, 6.5k per minute. Last 50 hours, 2.3. Last 10 hours, 5.6. Looking good. Yeah, and I definitely like the choice of the Holmium plate goes up here. We get an immediate visual indicator that we've run out of the hard-to-get uh, input. We need no train, no bot base? Oh my god. For SE? Absolutely not. Absolutely not. Artur's Lackic, welcome in. Big cool. Good to see you again also. Hope you're all doing well today. Let's go get the last... Well, I say the last of these pistol mags. It's one to one to one. The average stack size between these two is 75, and this goes to 200. So there shouldn't be that many stacks of pistol mags left over here. Also, we've caught up with our production here. How about we speed this up? That'll do. Well, I'm sure that's belt bottlenecked on the output. 90 per second. So we're consuming like... Like half a stack of iron plus coal per second and then some. Okay. That's the average between them, not, uh, not the combined amount. I guess since my bags aren't full, we may as well stand here a moment. Oh, that's it. We're out of coal. Nice. Wunderbar. Uh, I don't actually have some bots right now. Alright, let's drop off all the mags. It's gonna be delicious pasta. After SE update, it'll be my challenge, and no something boring like a main bus. Really considering the bulk rail loader bud, I 100% understand. There we go. Uh, and we may as well 
drop off the iron and or coal. It's going to be the easiest way to get rid of it. It's only a bit of iron. Yeah, we can fit it in our bags in one go. Alright, give me... bots. Decon this. Decon this. And then we'll go back here and shift C. And then come back and decon what's left of this and pick up our stuff. Pistol magazine. Dunsky. Uh, shift C. Whoa. Why did we draw off construction bots? No, give those back. Or at least like 150 of them. Alright. Good thing there's so much demand for the pistol mags at the moment. Much less troublesome to move the, uh, move the stuff. That's gonna go up the elevator. Yoink. Still got plenty of room. Not sure how that piece of rail got removed. Or when. Oh, maybe that's how. Get rid of the old wind turbines. Since we're here. And that should be everything. Nice. One less build. Can I throw this stuff in a crusher? It would help if I had one. Because the demand for the biomatter is really, really slow, I'm pretty sure. And it's infinitely renewable and we've got no 278 per minute yeah that's gonna take a long time to get rid of let's just put some crushes here I need some more solid rocket fuel Roundabout broken south of biomass. Tr no, it's not. That's an extra piece of rail. Same thing over here. Uh, but yeah, let's grab some crushes. I think there's some in here somewhere. There we go. How, uh, how's our battery charge right now? Oh, wow. Maybe give that a moment to recharge. Speaking of which, I think I'll take a moment to recharge myself. Oops. Let's do some words on stream. It has been uh, almost a couple of hours. Let's... Okay. We'll start words on stream in about 30 seconds.
I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon. Yo, Atomic Nature, thanks for the raid, welcome in. Taking a short break, we'll be back shortly.
Okay, that'll do, I think. Level 6 next. I'll probably continue that later. And welcome in. How is your stream, Atomic? So I think we're finished with moving the pistol mags, right? Uh, we should have pistol mags over here. We do. Fantastic. And we're probably making ballistic shielding data at the moment. Wunderbar. Stream was good. How's your stream going so far? Not too bad, thanks. Not too bad. We're just continuing with basically cleaning the place up. Moving and improving old builds. Uh, speaking of which, this one is empty now. Let's get the trains to move the last of this barrel. Vanilla core frags. Uh, stone. And we've already emptied the antimatter. And I guess we'll get... Do we have construction bots here? We do. So if we do this in the right order... We should be able to get the construction bots to shove a bunch of stuff in here for the uh, for the trash train to pick up so we don't have to go get it ourselves. We are going to be sending some more core frags back to the mall. We'll deal with that one day. It's fine. That's what we'll tell ourselves. And this as well, and these, everything but the RoboPorts actually. Can get rid of that station now. Oh, whatever. I've started a very slow K2SE run, and I'm getting to the point where I want to start some rail blocks. Would you recommend your rail block size of about 3x3 three three chunks and two-headed trains? Uh, yeah, I'm quite happy with this rail block, except if I was if, if I was to do a blah, 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 words. If I was to do it all again, uh, one thing I would definitely change is to make the gap between, uh, make the roundabouts ever so slightly bigger than the minimum size. Because then we could fit huge storage tanks right here. Uh, which would mean we can have pump directly to large container from, uh, or to fluid wagon. Uh, and that just flows way, way faster than if you have like pipes or something. Uh, and you could have a huge storage tank on the opposite side, out of the way of belts or whatever, dealing with the solids. So that's one thing I'd definitely change. Also, just in general, if the blocks were just a little bit bigger, uh, it would have worked out a bit better for the very large... Uh, some of the very large machines that we work with in space. So, when welcome in, by the way. But the coming train update is going to make life so much easier, indeed. And Fort Sen, welcome in. Zethros as well. And Barney. Okay, excuse me. Strangely, I'm having more trouble talking after the break and getting a bite to eat than before it. Um, yeah, I think we're pretty much done here. If 
we do this, the bots will move everything to get sent back to the mall. And I guess that's going to include a handful of core frags. Probably don't have to be that... No, wait. I do want to get rid of the vertical straight rail here. We're not going to need that for the block that we're going to paste on top of this. And down the bottom... Actually, there is vertical on the left, I forgot. But not on the right. Okay. The self-deconstruction is about as complete as it's going to get. What happens if I decon this? Actually, no, I should go over there, because the Logibots might migrate into another block. And we don't want that because of the arbitrary limit of 50 Logibots in a system before they start crashing. How much we should be recharged yes cool i did notice this was broken uh it's not supposed to be here anymore though that was the old trashing system should go decon that on the way back or i could just get the decon train to do it since there's not a whole lot to it Probably won't take more than a couple of seconds. And while you're at it... Well... Now that I'm adding more stuff... I should probably make that inactivity. Okay. Oh, there's no homes for the bots. I see. In any case... Oh, yep, the bots are migrating. But we didn't want more than 50 Logibots here. Total logistic bots, why 39? Why is it 39? I just realized I shouldn't be standing in front of, in front of the uh, spaceship in the Spidertron. There we go. Okay. Remove all this. And we're going to want to replace as is light. Ragamuffin. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Uh, we're going to make sure... There's room for the spaceship floor. Copy, paste, shift, everything but trains. And that goes here. And do we already have the direct belt? I think we do. Need to add it here though. I haven't added it here, though, either. Gonna need the construction train to finish the job. Might need two trips, uh, because we need a lot of belt.
Actually, that first one should have been inactivity. What happens if you are in the way of a spaceship when it lands? Well, I know if I'm in the way, it won't land. But we had a spider get squished. Um, I forget if the spider was standing here. I think what happens is this. Spidertron is standing here. Spaceship is trying to land. We tell Spidertron to leave. It leaves. The core of the Spidertron, the vehicle, is no longer in the way. But the legs are still here. And uh, Spaceship lands. Floor changes. Spider is deleted. Because if you're... If you're in space, if you have a Spidertron here and you deconstruct even one tile where one of the legs is standing, uh, it just disappears. It's gone forever. I, I think that's what happened with one of our spiders, sadly. Oh, I forgot to get the floor train up here. Also, we didn't bring enough spaceship law because I screwed this up. Wait here, please. We don't need this much spaceship floor. Seven by... Yeah, it's right here. Why are we not placing floor again? There it goes. Still waiting? We definitely brought enough floor. Uh, I thought. Is there any more spaceship floor in the mall? There's 4.7 thousand. And we had the train carrying 200. I don't understand. 98 times 2. Where did it go? Well... Uh, whatever the case, I guess come back with more. And we need to get our leading floor train over here. We need spaceship floor so we can place the space-based thermodynamics facilities on the ground. And we use those because casting machines are ridiculously weak and feeble compared to them. Also kind of an awkward shape. Just much, much better to get better throughput per machine with this. It would, it would also take a lot more speed modules. To support the casters as well. I forgot I left all this stuff in the spider. Probably could have built most of this in one go. Never enough holmium. Speaking of which, uh, I was thinking about, because we've got this, well, not that small, but it's right next door, we've got a Holmium outpost on Verb T, uh, which only gives us, what, 19, only 67 core frags per second. Uh, and then there's Orpheus, which is also fairly close. We've only got 10 drills here. 
50 per second. We could definitely expand Orpheus a bit. Probably should do that. Orpheus is in the Azimia system. It's a little bit closer than going somewhere via Foenestra. And Plato... Uh, Plato has 16 drills. For 100 per second. Because it's a much larger planet. Oh, we done here? How many core frags would we need presently to support all this? 248 per second. Hmm. Uh, I don't remember the exact numbers, but I'm pretty sure we can't keep up with that with our current outposts. Even if Plato wasn't having trouble getting enough ships to come and pick up its stuff. Uh, but yeah, I was thinking of reducing the penalty for priority for Plato specifically. So for however many ships are coming, uh, it, we're, we're going to have it a six times smaller penalty for prioritization here. But it looks like it's just... I don't think that makes a difference, actually. No, wait, with where this outputs... Yeah, it would. So we've basically got... Depending on how many core frags, we multiply that, and then we put a limit of it. A limit um, of target minus 200. We're trying to reach a certain time signal before we ask for a ship. And all the outposts are racing. Um, I'm pretty sure we've just constantly got so many core fragments that this is maxed out. And then this subtracts a bit, and this subtracts a bit. No, I think we'll keep this... I don't know, actually. So the, the ships that are specifically headed for this outpost cause a priority penalty, and the number of Holmanite core frags that are on their way back home at any given time uh, cause a different penalty. I could tweak them down specifically for this outpost, since it accounts for most of our Holmanite core frags. I haven't come up with a much better prioritization uh, system, obviously. But with how much demand there is for Holmanite, there really should be more than one Holmanite ship on the way home at any given time. So this will be two, or three rather. No, that was two, it just added one when the ship started taking off. Hey, we have ingots. Nice suit. Alright, let's head back to the mall. Pretty sure this is finished, right? Yep. Why is there a hover hovering bot? I can't believe I just deleted that schedule. It was just five seconds of inactivity though, right? I'm pretty sure. And send the Spidertron back home as well. Do not step on the spaceships. Bad things will happen. Nice timing. That seems like a lot of cryonite rod production. <laughs> but I'm sure we scaled up to that for a reason. Yep, 
Yeah, I remember specifically calculating how many core frags we needed. And how much processing. Oh, that's right. I was going to add this tag here. All right. Cool. So that is all of our old Holmium processing uh, transferred over to... Oh, we still left that direct belt stuff there. Uh, might want to change that. Let's take the decon train. Uh, but yeah, they're going to be direct belting to the north and to, to the south. So we won't be needing trains uh, for the Holmanite core fragments anymore. Should probably do what we did with uh, with Beryl over here and just completely remove the train stops. But they're a little bit full for the moment. So first things first, I guess, turn these around. And are you going to get full? I guess not. Same deal over here. Okay. I want to let these belts run out. I guess that's all we need to do for the moment, actually. No, because this is going to keep making crushed pulmonite, which we're not sending anywhere. I guess I should turn one of these back on. Until we use up all the old crushed Holmanite and Holmanite. Because there's no crushed Holmanite, uh, like, drop-off over here that we can dump it into. It's all direct inserted, and then swapped back and forth between here. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, we made this with tier 9 modules in mind. That's why this one's stuttering. That's fine. And you can take that wherever. Okay. So we can probably decon this one. Let's take the train over. And we're just going to dump everything into the block to the left. And this one can keep processing until it's done. And we'll end up with some more Holmium ingots over here. Oh no. Stop helping. Uh, 
send that train back home. Should probably take the construction bots out of here. Except they're spending forever hovering. Okay, stop this first. And let the bots finish doing their stupid thing that they're doing. Drop off what we can over here. Nineteen. Oh, I also left a bit of rando rail over here. Alright, so hopefully there's nothing else with bots in range. Oh, I should have picked up what's in here as well. There we go. And we can put that back the way it was. Okay. Are you full already? I guess that's not surprising. Don't tell me Shift C was putting stuff in the train. No, I don't think I was that close to it. Should really use the jetpack here. Did you connect the direct belt? Uh, which one? Connect the direct belt. Oh, up here? Yes, yes we did. Yes indeed. Uh, also there's already one connected down here because of how we copy-pasted earlier. Alright, give me some more blue balls. Toss them in over here. One more trip, or two more trips. Try not to get killed. And the rest is going to be a bit easier. Can I fit all of this? Not quite. Oops. That'll do. Clearing out the rest of this should be relatively easy. You can go. Probably would have been easier not to involve the construction train, actually. But don't tell him I said that. trying to put here? Well, nothing in particular. So let's just decon it properly. How much stone is here? Too much. 
let's get rid of it. Why is there a single bit of plate missing here? Okay, that's that's gonna bother me. We're gonna have to get that placed. Also, why does it take so long to get rid of stone? I wonder what our stats look like for Holmium ingots at this point. Let's see. Last 10 minutes. 974 per minute. Last hour, 769. 10 hours, 670. And 50 hours is a lot less. Quite a lot more area under the graph more recently. There's our stone get rid of her. Speaking of getting rid of old power pumps. And now we can decon this. Okay. Fantastic. Can we fit this? We can. Alright, I know it's only one tile. That's going to drive me crazy. If we leave that piece of floor missing. So I need to rethink taking ingots up the elevator if I'm not going to do train limits on these things. I really don't feel like doing train limits and adding a combinator for each of the ingot outputs. Um, so we basically need... Well, the thing is, I've looked at this before, and I don't think we can do much better than almost this exact shape. To have the space manufactories converting to plate. I guess we could use some of the smaller machines, but then this doesn't act as like a rebalancer. Morning, Ian Noah. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. So we need to do basically this, hopefully improve it a little bit, and integrate using uh, signal transmitters so that LTN delivers ingots to a proxy station like this. Well, I'm pretty sure... We could either do this exact thing for this step. How many ingots are we moving up the elevator? I'd love to know that, because a whole train load of ingots represents a lot of stuff. And I'm not seeing a whole lot of traffic moving ingots, so I bet we could get the whole thing done with like, I don't know, less than four trains. So sharing resources that get moved by one train schedule would seem to make a lot of sense with this, but the layout for upstairs is going to be a bit different. Hmm. Okay, let's have a look.
Let's have a look. There we go. Took a little longer than I thought. Maybe we've got some train... Uh, traffic jams? Uh, I think it's just a lot of train throughput right now. Because we're always spamming modules. And modules are very, very expensive. Speaking of which, how many do we have right now? Another 20 prods? Very nice. Got a weird spam mail yesterday with a pic of a topless woman attached to undisclosed recipients. That got me paranoid. Is there another vulnerability in an imaging library that I'm not aware of? I have no idea. Okay, so this is empty now. And it looks like we'll soon run out of the old Holmanite as well. A little bit quicker than I thought we would. Anyway, let's see how this build looks. The nice thing is we're not going to have to mirror this because ingots only go up upstairs. Okay. So our extant builds are looking something like this. Oops. Uh, Wester. And just when you talked an ad started? Well, my answer is I have no idea. Uh, space Manufactory. Nice and big and powerful and symmetrical. I think we'll use loaders here. Uh, and we had just the one beacon in the middle as well, which is kind of nice. Where is the middle though? It's kind of hard to tell without this. Beacon two. Uh, one, two, three. And what are we doing for power poles here? I see. Something like that. So this would have to be at least three tiles further down. If we're going to do the one beacon thing, which I would prefer to do. Oh, I see. This is the vanilla drop-off, and then there's an LTN, LTN. Yeah, I don't think it's possible to, like, fit six different ingots in one block or anything. And we probably do want double iron, double copper. How many types is... Ingots, are there? Oh yeah, Naquitite is in its own area, that's fine. One, two, three, four, yeah, no, that's it. Seven. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven. Well, I guess if there's going to be a vanilla pickup here... Eh, that might actually fit. Would have to do something a little bit awkward with the belts. But not a big deal, really. And that could be another tile down. So that we can use loaders like this. 
We are going to need a vanilla stop. Or at least a stop that just uses vanilla schedules to bring things up the elevator. And if we put this as close as possible, I'm going to need another weird little bit of belt here, but I think that's fine, rather than using more space. So I really don't think, I, I don't see how we're doing anything, oh, uh, that, no, that's going to be bad. Yeah, I think this is already as tight as it can be with making sure the signals work and fit. And this could maybe be slightly closer, but it doesn't really make any functional difference. That's if we do one quarter per block. What if we somehow try to make a shared drop-off for more than one ingot type work? I don't see how that's going to work out. Because I want to minimize the number of different channels and train schedules we use. I don't foresee a good way to make that elegant. We don't necessarily have to keep this as dense as it is. I don't see how we're doing it symmetrically. If there's going to be like one drop off for four ingots with how big the space manufacturers are. How quickly does a assembly turn ingot into plate? Plus 1400... 338... 388 kilowatt, I can deal with that. 27.5 per second. That's not necessarily great for when there's burst demand, and also we can't line it up to act like a balancer. So I really do want to use the space manufactories. Maybe... Maybe we could do like... Uh, there's no middle here with the rail. I was going to say maybe we could do like two on each side. It's not much of an improvement. I don't particularly want to have one vanilla schedule for each ingot type, minimum. And I don't want to have to deal with train limits. We do have to drop off... Yeah, I'm pretty sure there is a good reason that we have ingots available to LTN here. I'm pretty sure there's at least a build or two that wants ingots directly for science. Not holmium, not iridium, not beryl. Really? Iron ingots go straight into Prod science pack. 
Is that the only one? Really? It's only iron. Seriously. Although we do have copper ingots delivered directly to... Uh... Nope, that's a lie. We used to have copper ingots delivered straight to blank data cards because... Uh, it would go through copper plates so very, very quickly. But I guess not so much right now. Okay then. So really it's only... I hate that the iron ingots are the only ex exception. Maybe I should try and lay this out in a different way entirely. How many can we... Let's forget about trying to be efficient with the beacons. How many can we actually fit together? If we put this on either side, it doesn't quite fit cozily here. Hmm. I do want short trains to be able to pick up the plate. These can't be any closer together, right? What if they... What if they happen at different angles? I don't think that's going to work very well. Hmm. Could get really wonky with the uh, bulk rail loaders. Put one... Like here... And the other goes here. And that would actually work. It's a bit, it's a bit sus. Where are my wagons? I guess it's no weirder than, like, one inserter shoveling things into the corner of a cargo wagon. That's not saving that much space, though. Okay, so tentatively... If we have, like, two of these in a row... It's only saving, it's getting two ingot types per channel instead of one. I wouldn't want to drop off that many of them in one place anyway. Maybe four. I'm pretty sure we're just going to end up going with basically the same design. And probably have to have, like, either keep using the vanilla schedules just for the ingots. Which kind of sucks. Or have, like, four separate channels in each block. Shouldn't be using inserters here either. We're very, very inserter bottlenecked here. Hmm. 
Maybe we should give up on the space manufactories. So if we use assembly machines, that doesn't line up super well either. the exact same problem. This is an even number, and the size of the machines is an odd number, the length or width. I'm pretty sure the first version of this I made was actually pretty much shaped like this. It obviously fit quite a bit more there, but then we're not, like, moving this from here to here without a lot of weird belt shenanigans. Hmm. Surprisingly difficult problem with a pretty simple... A, a seemingly simple problem. It's harder to solve than expected. Yeah, no, because I do want short trains to be able to take the plate. We have to for the final sciences, uh, for the science packs. So unless we're going to shove it all in a different container and then belt it to here. The more I look at it, the less I like not using the space manufactories. And we kind of like sending the ingots to the mall as well. Just saves a few train trips. Okay, this might be a little bit better than I expected. Maybe we could put all of the stations on one side and do some underground belt shenanigans. But again, we do need to have the first station a little bit further away from the drop-off, just so that we can fit signals. So what if we do them all on the one side? Does this also fit? It does not. Which means, just because of rail signals, we need to move this down another two tiles. Okay. So... We're going to have ingots going straight to here. We're going to have ingots going straight to the space manufactory. We're going to have a plate going straight from the space manufactory to the bulk rail loaders. Space Manufactory could just not take anything from the one that's available to LTN. 
And we could maybe have... No, but... Okay, are, are we never taking ingots with short trains? I did configure this to take ingots with short trains, but... Maybe we never need to do that. Yeah, I don't... I don't think there's a use case where we need to... Uh, drop off ingots using a short train. Beryllium, Holmium, Iridium, and Naquium. Oh, mechanical facility, that's a double train. Okay. Why is why is Naquium not saturated right now? Aquium ingots. Uh oh. Uh, we haven't made a Aquium ingot for about eight and a half hours. That might be a problem. That might require our attention. Do we have the inputs? No, not really. Uh, yes we do. What's the problem? Why are we not putting crushed Naquitite? Why is this full of Iridium powder? Oh no. Did we make a build that never drops off Iridium Powder with a train and forget about this? No, oh, there's Iridium Powder here. Oh, it's getting direct belted. But this is deliberately left empty enough to summon a train. Stack size 30, 9,000 is 300 stacks, three trains. And this is kept at three and a bit stacks. Minimum train length four, maximum train length four. Request stack threshold 100. Uh, where's the powder again? Over here. Provide stack threshold 100. We have 100 stacks. I don't understand. Combinator is switched on. We don't have like a zero train limit or anything. Not that that would stop LTN from trying to send something. A hundred stacks and 60k for the fluid. What is wrong here? I don't get it. Priority 10k. Oh, we are measuring the iridium powder in here. Oh. Oh. 
Okay. Uh, in that case... What if we connect this red wire? Is that gonna help? Oh, that's not connected. Okay. So once this gets down to how much? Oh, it's actually draining pretty quickly. Uh, here, here we go. Here we go. Alright. Hello, it is I, the intrusive thoughts. You should totally discover a way to become the ruler of the bug hive mind. Take over all the bugs, lead them to space, reenact StarCraft's Zerg campaign. It'll be fun. Sounds fantastic. The Wolfman, welcome in. Hope you're doing well. So that's the reason we haven't had Naquim ingots for eight and a half hours. Uh, I presume, I'm pretty sure it builds up iridium powder very, very slowly. And we learned the hard way that this was not actually, because LTN knows what's in this container, this was not actually keeping iridium powder low enough to, uh, to trigger deliveries. Yeah, so all of these... Oh, we we don't have tier 9s in the Naquitite yet. How many do we need? 6 times... Uh, 4 times 12. 48. That's a lot. And Naquim's surprisingly not that precious. Um... 1.1 1 .1 Iridium Powder per second. And 3k is a train load. So yeah. Doing well. Trying to talk myself into replaying Factorio. Never finished the game. Always got busy with other things. Now I dread starting over. Oh my. Awesome cat. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. Good to see you again. I hope we don't have any ships that are like ran out of antimatter. I seriously doubt it. Naquitite egg number 12 has been sitting in Hagen orbit a very, very long time waiting to drop off some Naquitite. About eight and a half hours, I should think. And this is how much fuel we still have left. So that should be fine. Alright, back to rethinking this build. Uh, so... That might actually just be it. We could just limit... It depends how fast this is. That's a lot of modules. I... Honestly, I don't think we should need our best modules for this build. Let's use sixes and see how fast it is. Uh, and we're going to need some, some power poles. It's too far back. We could do mostly the same layout. Okay. So if we put in just enough efficiencies so that this is not demanding 30 megawatts. Plus 200. There we go. 
How fast is this? Holy... 334 iron plate per second. Um, sure. Hundred and eighty-three sixty. Yeah, we could maybe just do that. So that's almost four belts of iron plate per second. We could just let it fill up to supply one train load. And as soon as a train comes to to take some of it away, it starts filling up again. Well, okay, let's say we're in peak demand. Let's say several stations want iron plates simultaneously. Um, what am I clicking on this for? 334 per second is 29.94 seconds to replace a trainload of iron plate, assuming we have the ingots. But if a short train takes it, it's going to be a bit slower. Be well, it's going to be about the same amount of time, if not less, because we're bottlenecking on 180 per second. I think I'd rather just unlimit this. I don't really want to do the thing where we shove it all through one container, like we've been doing. Well, I guess we could easily do it with two belts. And if we're doing less than four belts of output, that's probably fine, actually. Except... There isn't really room. We could easily do three belts here, as wonky as that would look. Four belts here. That's kind of naff. I do want this to belt directly in. It looks kind of spaghetti. And if we underground this over here, it would look just as spaghetti. If not more so. I guess we could do it like this. That's not much better. Yeah, I don't like it. I guess we could literally just do this as well. But then once this is full... We're only outputting 180 per second. And that's no good. What if... How much is three belts? 270 per second. Out of a maximum of 334. And then we can have quite a bit of storage here. Only really need one here. It's limited to four belts. 360 is more than enough. So if we just keep picking it up with long trains, 
Then belt bottleneck would be 360 if we want to use higher tier modules. Probably just sevens, honestly. Speed sevens. 7.2 megawatt. My bags are full. They're only like double and then a little bit the cost of sixes. And it should reach the limit of what those belts can do. Minus 80. 376. Uh... Versus 360. That's perfect. Okay, so each one of these can do four belts of iron plate, for example. But I think the other... Um, some of the other ingots have different speeds. But if we just base, off, base it off of iron plate, it should be fine. Beryllium, Holmium, uh, Iridium, Naquium. Three seventy six. Why is this one six hundred? Why is copper faster than iron? One point two five seconds. 2.5 seconds. Yeah, it's twice as fast. What the hell? That's kind of weird. Oh no, it's not twice as fast? The recipe says it's twice as fast. 10 iron plate, 1 ingot, 2.5 seconds crafting time. 10, 1, 1.25. So why with the same modules... Does this say 376 per second and this says 600? It's literally the same. That's really weird. Crafting speed is the same. Recipe is twice as fast. So shouldn't we get exactly twice as much copper plate. Not that it matters, it'll be belt bottlenecked anyway. We could even use smaller modules for the copper. Uh, steel is only 188 per second. Which for steel is pretty fast. Although we are trying to keep up with the whole base, ideally with just one just one machine converting steel ingots. Is that max speed maybe per tick? What do you mean? If the recipe takes one and a quarter seconds, I don't think tick rate comes into it. Hundred and eighty eight, three seventy six. So the fastest ones are 376, except for copper, which is, for some reason, even faster. Mm. Is 600 per second the max speed for an assembler? Uh, that would be weird, but let's have a look. Maybe. So all speeds. 600 per second. Well, I'll be damned. That's pretty wild. Okay, 600 per second it is. So 
So if we were to do this basic layout... Might be wasted modules then on copper. Yeah, we're going to put in some sixes or something. The thing is, even if I'm a bit happier with this design, uh, we're not doing any better. Why can't I? Okay. We're not doing any better in terms of needing one channel per ingot type or per drop-off. Like, we may as well just stick with the old system. Where's my regular train stops? There we go. I guess we could always... We could always just bring the ingots up this way. And have this be where the ingots are available for LTN. And then just have a conversion block somewhere. That actually makes a ton of sense. We've already got... Oh. Well, I was going to say we already had a few spare blocks. Uh, spare ones left over. We do have this block that we haven't used yet. So I guess that could be ingots. In which case, we don't need the vanilla station at all. Which means we can probably do a lot better. It's just going to be a drop-off. Let's get rid of this. Uh, it's just going to be a drop-off on one side and a pick-up on the other. I don't think we're... St I still don't think we're going to be able to fit more in one block than, like, four ingot types. And maybe it wouldn't be desirable to do that anyway. Bulk rail unloader. Bulk rail loader. I guess we could put it here. No, it wouldn't work with the railing anyway. And this has to be at least this far down. So that we can fit it all under one beacon. The four ingot types in one block. And I guess if we really wanted to... No, we couldn't. Okay. So it's literally just going to be... Something like this. I'd like to make it even faster, though. If we did 600 per second, it re would require six and a half belts, six and two thirds. That seems a little excessive. I think four belts is probably fine. And we're back to the problem of rebalancing. I think we'll just stick with...
not utilizing all of the storage on the front one. I guess I could move this over like one tile. It won't be perfectly symmetrical between the bulk rails, but we could still could still do this like so. And then this can fit very cosily. Very neat. Don't really see a better way. Yeah, I think that'll have to do. That's not too bad though. It's pretty tidy. Alright, so... Things that we can flip. Not this. Like... This. Bulk rail unloader. Why is it... What have I done? What have I done? There we go. Okay, so this goes here. This goes here. I'm gonna need some signals. And voila. In the end, the answer was pretty simple, actually. And we might want to fill out a little bit more. Space platform plating, so this doesn't look too weird. I don't hate that. And then a little bit more for the look of it. Cool. Copy pass to this down here. And we'll get rid of the recipes for now. That's a little bit tidier, but we're really not gaining anything in terms of storage density or anything. But we will be able to have like as much as one train schedule to bring four different ingot types up. And considering how little traffic we see bringing ingots, I think that's probably going to be fine. We'll probably want to do iron and copper twice again. That leaves us with nine. Maybe I'll still just stick with the one train, the one dedicated train to bring up uh, Naquim ingots. Then again, this is pretty messy. I don't like this. Uh, Naquitite crystals. 
I think we're already bringing up using LTN. Using the same system as everything else. So that can be cleaned up. So we'd probably do something like... Iron, copper... How about double iron to the north, double copper to the south. And that leaves us with 12. I'm pretty sure we can manage with just one instance of each of the rest of these. And then we'll still have a few left over. Hello there, Emo. Good to see you again. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. Can the train support 600 per second? Uh, well... That would be a train every 16.67 seconds. Um... So, theoretically? Well, okay, it's... That's for the plate that's being picked up only. Not the ingots that are coming in. Uh, and again, that would be... I mean, for the base in general. Well, it's hard to know exactly how much plate is being consumed specifically in space. But last 10 hours, we're looking at 18k per minute. That's like 1.8 trains per minute. So about a train every 28 seconds or something like that. Still the mystery persists of why Hagen Orbit tells us we have a train that's out of fuel and then doesn't. Oh wait, it says Hagen. Well this one is out of fuel. How did this happen? Okay, let's go rescue it. Where did I leave my spooder? What is your job? LTN. How is an LTN train out of fuel? Uh-oh. What? There are no logi bots here. Oh no. Well, there's your problem. Quez, welcome in. Still using normal trains on conjunction with LTN trains with space elevator? Uh, basically, yeah. Also get out of fuel messages if the train is full with 60 discharged batteries. That might be it. So you know that out of fuel error? Well, this is a different one. I, I, like I said, I was surprised to see it said that there's a train on Hagen, not Hagen Orbit, uh, that's out of fuel. Do I have Logibots? I don't think so. I, I do. I have 39. That's way more than that particular block needs. So... Let's go sort that out. I don't think I didn't see you there. Old power poles. Actually, oh, this goes all the way down here. Alright, fine. Keep your power poles. Decon train. Um, but yeah, as well, you know, if there's that much demand, we'll have, uh, we'll, we'll probably still have multiple iron and copper converters here anyway. I just want them to be able to burst plate uh, very, very quickly, if necessary. Realistically, you don't want to be sustaining a train every 17 seconds. 
at any one location. Alright, Logibots, do your thing. And... I don't think I have any... I guess we can borrow this one. Any charged packs on my person? So presumably a lot of these LTN trains have gone to other depots some of the time. Like they've been cycling around pseudo-randomly. And that's why it's taken so long before we had a train out of fuel. Alright. I'm going to need a short break. Do some more uh, words on stream. And back in just a few minutes. We'll start the words in about 30 seconds. Actually, I think we had a... No, I better preempt this before it jumps in automatically. Start the words in about 30 seconds. I'll be back in a few minutes. Good luck, have fun, and I'll see you soon.
Uh-oh. I think we ran out of K uh, Holmium. Smashing level 9. Fantastic. Alright, let's continue with Factorio. Alright, so... Yeah, we seem to be out of Holmium. Looks like we're... No? No, there's core fragments everywhere. Is it because we ran out of using the old... The old system. Maybe. Let's go over there and have a look. We want to start deconning it anyway. My bags are terribly full of stuff that I don't want to be carrying right now, actually. Uh, let me just drop some of this off. That's a lot of pipe. Don't need old pipe right now. Don't need space belt. Don't need blue belt. Don't need a million purple belt. Don't need this many huge storage tanks. Uh, yeah, there's a lot we don't need to be carrying right now. Alright, that helps. Get rid of the space pipe as well. Okay. That's fine. With the new request filters, this will be a breeze. Oh, I may have missed that one. The upcoming update, that is. Nice. Okay, let's head over and I want to do a belt getting the old ingots here that we're not using anymore turned into plate and I want to start emptying this out. Not a whole lot left to empty out actually. Is pyroflux abundant? No, no, no. no. Pyroflux is very abundant, but it's... This takes a long time to make. I don't want to waste it. Provide threshold... 1k. Get it out of here. I'll make it a super high priority as well. Alright, that should trigger a delivery relatively soon. And... How about we just shove these in a box, actually? It'll be all the more obvious if we forget what was here. And start recycling all this. There's an awful lot of sand left over. Um, I guess I could just start moving it. We do need sand over here. They also showcased forcing ghost over existing structures. Yeah, we looked at that one yesterday. Or the day before. It was fantastic. All right, another 5k. And how much room is left over here? A bit. We can always start dropping off in the next one. Try not to die. Okay. 
Oh, more sand. Oh, oh no, they're delivering more sand. No, 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 no. No, no, please. No, no. Drop it off at the nearest one. Drop it off at the nearest one. There might not be room, but it'll sort itself out eventually. Actually, uh, I bet these are the only stations with this name, come to think of it. Uh, sand and fluid, yeah, it, that, that changed nothing. Because I was thinking they would go drop off the other, this has a different station name, I, I was thinking they would go drop it over here. I guess we'll just have to pick this up. Unfortunately, is our spider empty? It is. Let's use that as well. And one more trip. We'll probably want to start dropping things off over here. That's a little bit easier than walking. And back we go. Alright. We've got an awful lot of... beads and copper plate to get rid of over here as well. No different from the last couple of times we deconned one of these blocks though. Stone. Be gone. That's not a whole lot of sand. We can just start deconning now. Did we already go through those ingots? No. Oh. This plate hasn't been picked up yet. Feels weird. Although I'm sure it won't last too much longer. We're eating a hundred per we're eating exactly one stack per second here. The polmium plate. And there it is. There's a train coming. Let's increase the priority of this though. I want to get all these ingots moved. Where is that supposed to go? Nowhere. Grab the old spaceship floor. I guess also grab the, uh, Refined concrete that we put in here for the aesthetic. Feels nice clearing out old builds, even if it's not that old of a build. There we go. Still going to take a little while to empty this. I guess we could put another one of these little chests over here. There we go. 921 per chest left. So, three minutes. It always stresses me? Wait, what does? Okay, get rid of that extra bit of rail. Removing old builds? Really? I 
but it's like spring cleaning. Only easy. Like emptying the clutter from your mind. Oh, I guess these were under beacons before, right? That's a bit faster. Belt bottlenecked for the output. Alright. Uh, let's move this sand. And then we'll get to deconning this block. Did we get rid of this pyroflux? No, we did not. Why not? Provide threshold 1000. Provide priority, yes. Short trains allowed. I guess there's just... We just don't have anywhere demanding... Uh, demanding pyroflux right now. Alright, where do we have a consumer of pyroflux? There's probably some empty space there. Here we go. Over here. Iron. Let's borrow a fluid wagon, if we can find one. If we can find one. Okay, there's one. It's busy. Do we have enough fluid wagons? Let's see how long before this one gets scheduled. Hasn't even been sitting there for five seconds. Okay, then. We may need, uh, we may need more fluid wagons. It's possible. I would imagine there's a... I'm not seeing, like, an LTN alert that there aren't enough trains to do something. So it's probably balanced on a knife's edge at the moment. Or close to it. Perfectly balanced as all things should be. Uh, and was it here? Wait till full cargo, and just to be sure... Fluid count is pyroflux. And then go over here, wait till empty. And return to your duties. Could also drop it off over here. Actually, we could probably, like... Uh, spaghetti pipe. Mm, yeah, we could probably do that. Get that done pretty quickly. Let's get rid of the sand. Star she blows. Still a lot of ingots here. I guess I just failed to appreciate how much a stack of ingots represents for plate. Oh? Oh? Holmium cable is saturated? Dare I believe it? Holmium cable. Yes? Uh, where else am I looking? Over here. Yeah, uh, it looks like, for the moment, the demand for Holmium Cable is... Huh. Well, that's why. And to add insult to injury, it's Holmium Plate. Because we're not taking the ingots upstairs fast enough right now, because the vanilla train keeps coming to the same pickup for Holmium Ingots. Rude. How about you go pick up from here? 
until we get the new system sorted. There we go. This one's got loads of ingots. And so does this one. Ooh! Okay, yeah, that's not that surprising. We're starting to see ingots pile up here that could be turned into plate because we're not consuming that much plate downstairs because holmium cables are saturated because the holmium ingots aren't being taken upstairs to consume holmium in other ways, especially to make quantum processes which require both. Tried adding a condition plates greater than triple x equals enabled? Uh, at the train stops? Uh, I, I want to set it up so we don't need combinators, and enable disable is not good when you've got multiple trains. Um, and we need combinators for train limits. Unfortunately, there's no way to smuggle in one little bit of logic there otherwise. But I would like to finish deconning these old builds first. Are you okay there? Yeah, it's just... that's just a regular LTN schedule. Getting the last dregs of the Pyroflux. Make sure we get all of it. That's cool. My bags are awfully full. Let's go drop off this powder. Shift C, and once more with feeling. All of this spaceship floor with a stack size of 50 is not helping. How much longer is this going to take to pump? Uh, I guess that's it. Pretty much. I'm out. How are you not getting your 44k? What? Uh, whatever. Get out of here. Clear that out. And let's get these old turbines as well. Oh, the spiders. Yeah, the spider should be pretty much empty. Let's check the modules in there as well. They're taking up a lot of space. Okay. Um, I might just take these ingots somewhere else. And then we can decon all this. Just take it with us. Don't have room for that either. Just another trip or two. No limit, just on off. Uh, yeah, no. If you have, it, it's okay if you have like one train that ever comes to this stop. If you use enable disable, but if there's two trains, uh, enable disable can cause trains to just stop mid 
like while they're in in motion. That's a lot of plate. Uh, I'm just gonna shove some in here. I'm sure it's fine. As long as we have ingots to fill up the plate when the train takes from here and makes it imbalanced. Should be okay. Oh. Never mind. Uh, and get rid of this powder. Okay. So we can finally clear this out, right? Hey, there's a train coming for the last of this. Perfect timing. Fantastic. Lack of floor here is bothering me. I messed that up. I'm going to have to summon the floor train anyway. And Gonski. Wunderbar. Okay, let's go start deconning the last two blocks. That one should be really easy. Let's do it first. It seems like there's literally no solids left except for like a piece of holmanite or two. Uh, and we could probably... No, we can't. Let's get rid of the crushed first. That might actually be a little bit of a problem. Um, we can probably just even distro the crushed into these containers, actually. The ones that swap the recycled materials back and forth. Plenty of storage space there, and they're getting drained out quite quickly. Easy enough. Uh, and pick these up because sometimes there's items left that are in the invisible hands of the invisible inserters. And there's our floor train to fix my little mistake over here somewhere. Okay. Spider's already empty. That's the end of that. And we can probably just pick all of this up. Oh, not the stone. And there'll be just a little bit of holmanite left in the inputs of some of these. Let's get LTN to deal with the stone. I can't believe I redid all of this again after thinking that was the final build. Oh well. It happens. My philosophy for building, uh, for doing the earlier game builds is going to be a little bit different in the future. Where possible, build everything shaped for the very end of the game. So that the only change needed is swapping in some modules. Uh, 
And we'll dump this over here. It really is a fairly neat build for Holmium from Holmanite to Ingot to Plate all the way through. Even if I'm the one saying so. Not going to get much tidier than that. And one more block to go. This one will be a bit more of a pain. I guess let's start with everything but the containers. Or the big containers, anyway. No stone left over here. Good. How much hominite are you making, and how many planets does it take? Uh, we've got three planets giving us hominite core fragments. One of them would be a pretty easy upgrade at the moment if we go add more drills. Uh, but the biggest one which is far enough away to go via Foenestra, is 100 core fragments per second. And the other two, I think, were like 50 and 70-ish. So we're looking at around 220 core fragments per second if all of the spaceships bring stuff as fast as the, as the outposts can produce them. Um, but that system has not been perfected, sadly. Let's get rid of the copper as well. I've been trying to come up with a newer... a newer version of the spaceship dispatch system. Uh, it's quite difficult, though. Because as much as I enjoyed the gimmick of core frags only, uh, I think next time I'd like to have spaceships moving things with much higher stack density. Mostly just because the spaceships cost UPS uh, more than other things. Llama boy, thank you very much for the raid. Welcome in. Hope you're doing well. A ship still the biggest UPS hit. Uh, hard to say, but I think so. Yes. I think uh, they fall under scripting, right? Script update six point seven point five, eight point six. Which is like almost, it's like a third, almost, of the entire game update. Trains are three and a half at the moment. Maybe peaking at four or so. What about circuits? 2.8. Electric network, 3.7. Electric network is normally one of the bigger ones, right? So the fact that script update is going up to 8 probably says a lot. Logistic train network is only like... Well, only. It's like 2 or so. Gonna go crash in bed, so tired. Fair enough. Have a good stream. Thank you, and have a good snooze. Curious how update will handle that? Which one? Mod SpaceX is most of that too. Yeah. I am surprised just how many ships we needed to keep up with this. Although we haven't put prod nines in everything yet. The upcoming vanilla one. Looks like it's not going to take as much effort to clear this one out as I expected. Uh, 
Oh, that's it? Nice, Zulu. There we go. And down here as well. Not the train. We do not want to decon the train while it's in motion. Or any other time for that matter. Would bigger storage space on ships have helped out? I'm not, sh I'm not so sure about that, because the bigger you make the ships, even if they're moving at the same speed, uh, you start having to deal with more asteroids and bigger asteroids. Uh, and you'll need more defenses. We we had that exact problem last playthrough. We had we we made a big ship which had plenty of room to add a lot more containers. Once we got the research for the hull integrity, uh, and we did that and looked at okay, how fast is it? How much slower is it now that we've added all of this container stress? This much slower. Do the math. Okay, that is significantly better throughput overall. Let's do it. Ship it. Oh, the ships are starting to crash with the exact same defenses, even though they're going slower. Um, so yeah, it's going to take more laser turrets, more shields. Uh, and the asteroids, I think, are... I, I think, honestly, the asteroids and defenses... Uh, probably a significant, if not a really big chunk of the UPS cost of the ships. Uh, I could be wrong about that, but they, they are technically enemies. So yeah, like all of our 50 ships that are flying around all the time, the game's dealing with all of these rocks like, 50 times. It adds up. And considering how much UPS biters can cost, I know a lot of that is pathing, but still. Alright, so now that that's all cleared out and updated, uh, why don't we... Start patching things over. So rockets are more UPS friendly? Sadly, yes. They basically just teleport things. And except for when you're dealing with crashes and stuff, um, they're not costing UPS at all most of the time. Really. I mean, obviously they're always costing something, but... The scale is pretty trivial, by comparison. That is a lot of old stuff that we need to decon. And I need to move this at some point. But we don't really need to. I guess it's fine, actually. If it's just a bit of melange extract and a little bit of nitric acid, this location is alright. We should probably connect this rail, though. Okay, so we were going to do... Let's say... Beryl, Holmium, Iridium, Aquium. Oh, we haven't done steel yet. Yeah, there's going to be a bit of an odd remainder left here, no matter what. Okay, which ingots have the highest throughput? Let's have a look. We can probably somewhat safely assume that the ones that have the highest throughput in general are going to have the highest throughput in space. So, copper by far. We're already doing two for copper. Damn, it's not even close. 
Beryl is next. Actually, it's not iron. Beryl and then Holmium. So we want to keep these two separate. And probably put Beryllium in one of the northern ones, not with the copper. So, how about this? Beryllium. Oops. Oh, why can't I place it? There we go. Holmium. Uh, and what were the other two I was looking at? Well, everything else is, like, pretty slow. Iridium down here, maybe. Steel. And we'll put Naquium in there as well. This one's here, this one's here, this one's here. Is a kind of wonky. Okay. I should probably move the existing ingots that we've got. It's not too, too many of them because we limited the... Yeah, it's going to be about the same... It's going to be about as much of a chore as moving any other thing that we've moved across like this. But there might be a couple of trains or so for copper or iron. Alright. Only one iron train that we know of. Go drop off... Uh-oh. I didn't name this station yet. So this is going to be... Well, we only picked two things so far. I guess we'll just leave it like that for now. Iron ingot and... Beryllium ingot? Uh, and I meant to leave those question marks in there. That'll have to do for now. Station name is going to be the same. Where's our train? Here it is. Okay, so go here and empty. Uh, and then go pick up iron ingots. But you normally go down the elevator yourself. I guess go pick up the iron ingots from here. Uh, wait for full cargo or inactivity with at least one ingot. We need to get this train out of the way. I guess I'll just park it down here for now. I was going to use it for another schedule earlier, but we're going to have plenty of trains left over for that. Alright, so iron ing uh, ingot is going to be up the top, which means this one. Uh, and the next one is Beryllium Ingot. Cool, cool, cool. Let's grab Beryllium Ingot Train. There should only be one. And go drop off here as well. 
wait for full or inactivity and at least one beryllium ingot. And then I don't think we've actually done a an exchange block on the ground for these. Pretty sure we haven't. Let's double check. Search for a signal receiver entity. These ones that come in pairs are what we're looking for. And that's it, right? Pretty sure it is. Okay. So most of our ingots are being made around here. Iron, copper, steel. Naquim ingot is over here. That's not too far away. Not that we need lots of throughput with Naquim ingots. Iridite, Holmanite, Beryllium. I think that's literally all the ingots concentrated on the left side of the base. So I'm thinking not too close to the depot. Not too close to where there could be a lot of other traffic. Maybe here? Or even down here? We should probably put it relatively close to the space elevator. Maybe like here-ish. Then again, this stuff is all relatively low throughput. We just don't want it in a super high traffic area. I think here should be fine. Let's clean up some of this uh, rail spaghetti. Where am I standing right now? Vovacent, welcome in. Crashes are not even that bad compared to ship crash, not at all. Well, the ships don't... Well, they do crash, but not in the same way. What is this flashing? Oh. Infinity pipe. Yeah, we're not going to be building any of that. Even if it's for the wrong reasons, it is nice to see the Holmium cable saturated again. All right, let's just, let's just dismiss all of this rail spaghetti. And if we're going to reconnect this mine, we'll... God, there's so little left. I, I, I kind of do want this to get cleaned up. Oh no, our spider's tired. I'm so sorry. Poor Spuda. Oh, I don't have room for all this. Oh, no. Does the spider have logistic... No, it does not. Oh, here we go. Blank? No. Trash unrequested items. There we go. So I guess if I don't mind picking up my modules again later on. Let's just send all this stuff back to the mall. Very, very slowly. Oh, 
close by to... I'll tuck it out. Uh, I don't think I had to decon all of that, actually. Oh well. Let's replace it with a rail block. And we're going to want one of our fancy new exchange blocks. Uh, up the elevator, please. Yes, that one. And we need to change that rail signal for some reason. Why do we need to change that rail signal? I think that might be a mistake. No, that signal was wrong earlier. Okay. Good talk. Floor train? Do you think... Construction train? If you please. And can we actually spaghetti this in? Oh, oh, no, 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 yes. And what about here? That seems fine. Might be a little bit out of range for our construction train. So we'll just wait till this rail gets built. Get rid of the old poles. Do I have some rail on me? No. I could tell the construction train to move here already. Uh, never mind. We need relatively few things here. This should all get done at once. Uh, and the top left block is going to be iron ingot, beryllium ingot. Whoa, fast. And we want to copy this across to here. And over here as well. All right. So this is going to be requesting iron ingots. A couple of train loads. Beryllium ingot. Same thing. And we'll borrow one of the trains that we just had emptying out the old system. Need to rebalance this. Is the barrel train... are they both still moving? No, the iron train's done its thing. And the barrel train has done its thing. Cool, cool, cool. Please head down the elevator. Uh, and stop here. Out of fuel warning has been on for some time. Good 
well. Maybe it's this side. Oh, here, it is this side. So the notification is over here, but the actual out of fuel issue is over here. Why is the inserter not putting... Probably because the train's trying to move. There it is. We just hadn't recovered from not having bots here. And some of the trains running out of fuel. I do understand why inserters can't try to put things into a speeding locomotive, but obviously that could have been sorted out. How many charged? Uh, can't really tell. Because they're all in requester chests. Not many. We are not keeping up here. Or at least not yet. Maybe I should go deliver some charged packs. Well, let's get this done first. Alright, so you're going to have a schedule. Much like... Much like this one. Except... Beryllium ingot. Full cargo. Beryllium ingot. Empty cargo. Alright, so up the elevator, wait at depot just in case there's more than one train doing this schedule. Uh, go empty cargo over here, where we drop off iron and or beryllium ingots. Go down the elevator, depot, come here, pick up, wait till full of whichever. That should be it. And... We are receiving a signal telling us there's 50k beryllium ingots upstairs and 31k iron. So LTN is not going to be requesting this just yet. We're not going to be reaching that provider threshold. Need to go rebalance that iron. Iron only stacks to 50. And Brillium 100. I wonder is so much of it. Okay. So that's Iron and Brillium done. Next we're going to want to do... Well, did we move all the Iron already? No, because there's another station with the same name over here that has more Iron ingots. Alright, how about... You go over here... And we'll rename this one. Uh, and we might want to change this schedule, actually. Because we want to drop off... I haven't named the station yet, have I? Iron... Well, it's going to have the same name, except... This is going to be Holmium Ingot. Holmium ingot. And literally everything's going to be the same over here. Except Holmium ingot instead of Beryllium ingot. Switch this off. Copy. Holmium ingot stacks to 50. Wait, did I give these the same request? I did. I didn't realize they didn't have the same stack size. Okay, Holmium Ingot does stack to 50. So 10k is two train loads. And Beryllium Ingot needs to say 20k. Uh... 
Um, why don't we just copy from here for the station names? And we'll need a train to run that schedule, which is going to be almost identical to that one. Once that train has finished moving the iron ingots, it'll be the perfect candidate. And that's probably going to take like three or four more trips. Oh, cool, cool. And then we can finally get Holmium ingots moving again. Well, I guess we could take... Uh, no, that's not the best idea. Oh, also we... I was going to say we haven't moved to the Holmium ingots that we've already got upstairs. But... How did this even get here? Oh, we must have taken a train load not that long ago. Or maybe there's a second train doing Holmium ingots? I don't think so. If there were, it should be visible here because it should be stuck waiting for ingots somewhere. Ooh. Okay, I'm sure this is going to collapse as soon as we start sending ingots upstairs. Don't get too excited. Do not get too excited. Also, what's our ratio here? Uh, we're making 51.6 holmium per second. And we can consume 55. That's almost perfect. I like that quite a bit. All right. How much more iron plate are we moving? Uh, did we start moving the Holmium ingots? Well, they're not going to last long. Maybe we'll just leave this here. Rename this station first. Uh, so yeah, Holmium ingot train upstairs, there's no such thing, right? Because it's always downstairs. Holmium ingot storage, no trains. Okay. So we will borrow this one. But the few ingots left over in it at the moment are a little bit of a problem. Uh, I guess let's go get these ones. That'll be a full train load. And then once you've done that... Please make your way over here. And that's your entire schedule for the moment. Another fuel warning disappeared. Okay. All right, so you're full of Holmium ingots. Perfect. Go to manual. Copy pasta schedule. Holmium ingot. Full cargo. Not empty. Empty cargo. All right, up the elevator, depot, empty cargo, at Holmium ingot, down the elevator, depot, full cargo, at Holmium ingot. Seems good. That should be it. And I guess we can switch this on now. Well, if there's already like 10k or even 5k iron ingots here. That should be fine. Oh, I haven't set the filters yet. Uh, what? 
Oh, it's this one. Chromium ingot. Train should be on the way. Fantastic. Uh, and we are actually going to need to build this thing in place of our existing blocks dealing with the ingots before just dumping this into LTN is helpful. Otherwise we'll have no plate. Uh, but yeah, I think I can switch this on now. Two to go. So the next one is copper... Well, something something iridium copper. Well, let's start from the top. Something something iridium copper. Copper goes here. And iridium goes here. Switch this off for now. Iridium ingot. Copper ingot. Twenty hundred times two. Fifty hundred times two. And we want these symbols for the train stop names. And let's get the Iridium Ingot Train. It's right there. I'm pretty sure that's the only one. Yep. So we're going to have you drop off here. Wait till empty. Pick up from here. Wait till full. If not full, wait till item count and inactivity. Iridium ingot. And we're going to want to do the same for copper. And once again, there's two stations doing the copper. I'm surprised I can only see one train for copper ingots at the moment. Apparently that's legit. Copper ingot. Empty. Copper ingot full. And probably the Iridium Ingot Train is going to be done first. Don't see why not. Especially with the smaller stack size as well. On top of only needing to empty out one station. So we'll use the Iridium Ingot Train uh, for this schedule. Once it's done. How many more trips is this? Uh, it's like two and a bit train loads, if that. There's our Holmium.
Should probably end up, uh, should probably clear out all this old stuff as well. Now that we've finally moved every resource into the new system. Pretty sure ice as well, yes. Got a lot of defunct trains sitting here as well. Seven rail blocks to clear out. Although there's nothing stored in them, so it should be relatively simple. Alright, where's our train? Here he comes. What do you got left? Nothing? Perfect. So, could you please... Where is it? I lost track. It's this one, isn't it? Too late. Oh, there was a little bit left over in the invisible inserters. That's fine. Please come downstairs. At the provider. How do you build stuff around your base? It is, uh, is it all from personal robots or do, do I miss something? No, a lot of the time we use this uh, train. It's full of, full of all sorts of things and we've got vehicle equipment grid stuff. There is a mod vehicle equipment grid that lets you do this, but K2 lets you do it as well. Um, so we've got an automatic system. Oops, we've got a little issue here. Uh, we've got a little system for automatically loading the train with whatever it is we're requesting with combinators over here. It is pretty hard with only three cargo wagons to uh, to keep filling it up with what we need. Like we, we, we do like empty some stuff out to make room for other things sometimes. But yeah, construction train, even better than Spider-Trons, honestly. Because we can schedule the train to come over here, wait for inactivity, and then go back and refill. And we can even get it to do two laps. Okay, so you're empty. Uh, manual, copy schedule. Replace... Something something beryllium ingot with something something uh, iridium ingot. Full cargo. Full ca uh, empty cargo. Iridium, iridium. Up the elevator, wait at depot. Empty. Down the elevator, wait at depot. Full. Seems good. And we need to do the... Well, I just need to switch on the requests. But uh, let's make sure we've moved what items we can first. There's no copper here. That seems a little suspicious. Where did our copper train go? Manually stopped. Oh, I didn't actually get it started. Oops. But as soon as it's moved two train loads, we can switch on the LTN request. It won't trigger until until there's more copper ingots missing. I always use Spidertrons. Guess it's time for a new playthrough. Thank you for the answer. You're welcome. Yeah, I was sad about how far away Spidertrons were. Until I realized I could make a construction train, and then I've hardly been using the spiders. All 
All right, where is... Where's our copper? There it is. And there's that one... I think it's only two in the entire block in the southwest corner that's facing the wrong way for some reason. There we go. Okay, while that's cooking, why don't we get started on this one and see if we can't finish today. Oh, we have to do three things here. I'm not going to worry about the Naquium for the moment. Because that's got its own dedicated vanilla scheduled train for the moment. So... I mean, we'll still name it correctly. Question mark, Naquium, Steel, Copper. Naquium... Steel, copper, copy that over here, and then copy those symbols. And start moving the stuff. Steel in particular. It's going to be nice and easy. I'm sure we've only got one train for this. Go here. Empty. Go here. Wait till full. Or if not full... Inactivity with some steel ingots. Cool, cool, cool. Once all of that's done, we're going to need to rebalance some of these. Well, all of them, actually. Going to be a little bit imbalanced. Uh, and then we want copper ingot. Why don't we move the copper ingots from... Number two over here. Or I could just wait till... Wait till the copper ingot train is done. Nah, uh, let's not wait. We've got plenty of spare trains. Like this one. Copper ingot, pick up number two. Wait till full or inactive with copper. And drop it off over here, please. Actually, you're probably not carrying anything right now. Cool, cool, cool. And once that's done two trips, uh, we should be ready to switch on the LTN stuff. Like with this one. Alright, so over here, do we have an LTN pickup for the Naquim ingots? We do for some reason. Well, it's more of a... Yeah, it is both. I don't know where Naquim ingots would be going on the ground. Naquim structural data, Naquim plate... Okay, where would we use Naquim plate on the ground? I think the answer is no. Yeah, it is. But as soon as I turn on an LTN request for Naquim ingots, they are going to start coming here. But I guess that's actually going to make it easier to transition. Alright, uh, so we're looking for something, Naquim Ingot, uh, Steel, 
and copper, right? What's this stat to? 10. Couple of train loads. Couple of train loads. Couple of train loads. Okay. Did we already do a schedule over here? We did, right? Yeah, we're good. And... Uh, apparently I didn't do these filters. So nothing, Naquim ingot. Steel. And copper. Fantastic. Alright. Now where's that train that runs Naquim ingot and nothing else? There he is. He's already down here and empty. Very convenient. Alright, please park over here. How are we doing for charged power packs over here? Not very well. How fast is this? 11.8 per minute. Where's our train? Hold on, what? Manually stopped. GG. And then we can finally tidy up this monstrosity of double train stops. With the wonky pumps over here. It can just be a regular LTN stop. Okay, manual, copy schedule, ingot, including Naquium, Provider, oh, requester, empty, up the elevator, depot, empty, down the elevator, depot, full. Oh. Perfect. And we should be able to just switch this on already. Because we already had enough steel and copper over here. It's not going to trigger a delivery while we're still moving stuff. Okay, and now we need to hurry up and replace this build with the new version. Which might not take as long as one might imagine. Where's our spooter? Recharging, right? I think I'll just fly over. Actually, do I even need to go up here? Let's grab this train. The space floor train. It's got a bunch of empty space in it. Uh, these four trains are not going to be needed anymore, I think. In any case, for the moment, let's park them out of the way. And 
one more. How about here? All right. Deconstruct. A lot of this is going to be staying in the same spot. Oh. Oh, that's a lot of plate. Oh, no. No, 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 no. I didn't realize how much plate was still there. Oh, no. Oh, no, no, no. Uh, I'd better get over there. Spooter, rescue me. Not much time left for today. We're definitely going to be ending the stream in the middle of this task. But it's not too terribly complicated to remember we're in the middle of swapping this out for the new version. Oops. For both of these blocks. Maybe I should make it like three batteries, energy absorber, and one solar panel. Just so if I leave this parked somewhere, it is getting some energy. Up the elevator we go. Oh, wait. Wrong bouton. Don't get squished. And it's right here, isn't it? Okay. I guess the first thing we should do actually is just... Make these stations super high priority to get rid of what we've got here. I don't think we're picking these items up from anywhere else, though. Maybe we take all of this to the mall? I think we kind of have to. What are you doing? Oh. You were here... You were both sent here to be decommissioned. Well, that's convenient enough. Your schedule is to pick this up. Wait, wait, we need a unique name here. The old iron. Pick this up and then empty it over here. Wait for inactivity and item count. And when it stops back here, we'll know. Otherwise, it'll go around in circles. Same thing for copper. I guess we should probably stop offering it to LTN if we're going to have these trains taking it all. And empty over here. Alpha Ulvenstein, thank you for the follow. Welcome, welcome. Hope you're doing well. How much is left? Lots. Lots is left. And surprisingly, okay, less than one train load of Holmium plate. Um. I was going to say we could get rid of that by just making a smaller provide threshold, but it might end up dropped off somewhere with a long train. 
that wants to stay balanced. So... Let's do the same thing here. Make sure the names are unique, because we're using vanilla schedule. And dump it all in the mall. Once more with feeling. I think I forgot to make the Holmium one second. Wait till empty. I did. Okay. So that's going to get drained out. And from there it's going to be a very simple operation. Oh, this is already empty. Nice. Well, yeah, of course it is. There was less than a train load. Doop, 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 doop. Uh, don't need this anymore. Pick this up. We'll need that soon, but I don't want it, any of it left over where it doesn't belong. Should be plenty of room left in the train. I say plenty, I mean 5%. You're done? Fantastic. Uh, how about get in my pockets? Why? Pretty sure the beacon's going to be in exactly the same spot. Uh, let's have a look. That part is going to be exactly the same, right? Yeah. Just waiting on the trains to finish this off. Where's our Iridium train? How much is left? A couple of train loads. Maybe a little bit more. Yeah, two and a bit. Oh, I mean one and a bit, actually. What about over here? We're bottlenecked by the belt. Oops. Uh, that's fine. There we go. Oh, don't die. Oh, wait, these do need power. They have power. Convenient. All 
Right, how much longer till this empties? I think we should probably leave it there for today. At least it'll be very, very clear what task is in front of us the next time. Let's find someone to raid. Factorio. We're not raiding Mr. Dane three times in a row. Maybe Hofnix Diablo? Uh, sure. Let's drop in on Mr. Diablo. Have a great day. You too. Thank you. Thanks for hanging out. You know it. Take care. Okay. Thank you all for watching. Do take care. And I'll see you next time. Check out the Discord of Blueprints if you're into that. If you have any questions or anything, by all means. And until next time, stay safe. Uh, tomorrow might be... Well, it's probably going to start about the same time. But we're, we're just going to be vibing with some Spire, I think. See you next time, Ferwin. Inua. Alpha. RV Park, Velvasant, Captain True, everyone else, including all you lovely lurkers. Till next time, take care. That I'm going to ignore. Two lines left.